Panthers and Bryce Young, they have set the bar so unbelievably low this season that it actually makes the rest of this year like almost easier to please us. I just need to see improvement. I just I, need to see something. I, I just like one inch at a time, right? Life's a game of inches. Like as as far and as or uh, sorry, as slow and as steady as it needs to be. Like right now, the Panthers fan base is just craving improvement. That is not a high bar for Bryce Young right now. Here's here's the best example I can use, and this just popped into my head. Uh, you ever been to Dave and Buster's, Graham? Oh, yeah. When, when I was a kid, Dave and Buster's was the big, like, on your birthday, you get to go to Dave and Buster's. Okay. Um, and, and obviously, pop a shot, right? The little the little basketball hoop. Um, one time we showed up, I kid you not, this was the, the Dave and Buster's Ward Center, Honolulu, Hawaii, all right? Uh, where, where I was, we were living at the time. And there was a, a gentleman, probably in his 40s. He was go. He would go right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, one at a time. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm talking swish, 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 swish. Unbelievable. Never seen anything like it. And uh, what he would do is he would break the record, like whatever the high score was for the day, by one, and then he would stop. And he would still have like 35 seconds on the clock. And then all the tickets would start back, you know, I, uh, when they still gave tickets, not like, oh, swipe your card and good job. Uh, we, we, the tickets would just be printing. And then he'd play again and he'd swish, 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 break the record that he just set by one. So he'd get the high score. He'd get the bonus, all the tickets. Then he would stop. That's all Bryce Young has to do. Just be one bucket better than you were last week, each of the next weeks. Right, you don't have to set the highest high score of all time. If the high score was ten makes, just get eleven. If the high score was, uh, you know, two hundred and fifty yards passing, you don't have to throw for four hundred. Just be a little bit better for a fan base that is just craving improvement right now. You've set the bar extremely low. Right, give me twenty points. Score twenty. You scored six last week. Yeah, it's something other than six. Give me 14 points, uh, a couple explosive plays, and no turnovers. That's that's it. That's it. You don't need to have Cam Newton on a podcast calling you a game changer by next week. You're like, like, just be better. And And what that comes with is everything we've talked about with Bryce Young. Be better at dealing with a bad team. There's always something you can learn, okay? It's not a lost season because your wide receivers aren't the, you know, 1984 Dolphins. Like, it, it, there's, they're not the greatest show on turf. They don't have Torrey Holt and I, Isaac Bruce and Ricky Prohl and Falk out of the backfield. Like, you don't need to have that for your quarterback to learn something. If you get good, if, if, if Bryce Young gets better at managing the game when he doesn't have time to throw – Imagine how good he'll be at handling the game when he does have time to throw, hopefully next year. Matter of fact, show me a similar performance for Bryce Young than what you had or what you had the last time you played the Buccaneers. Because I think that Bryce had a very good performance in that last game down in Tampa, even though they came up short once again. But you saw Bryce Young throw a passing touchdown, a rushing touchdown. He's To me, he looked the most confident he had looked all season in that game against the Buccaneers. And and again, I mean, it's it, he didn't look like – John Elway, you know what I mean? He didn't look timid. He looked loose. The, there's there's an element of the expectations have dropped a lot this year. Take advantage of that, right? You build up goodwill by playing average right now. At the beginning of the year, for, for people to get excited about what Bryce Young was doing, he would have had to play really, really good. Now, people will get excited if he just goes out there and, and plays solid. The team can take advantage of that. And, and oh, by the way, if you're Chris Tabor – who's the, the, the head coach uh, interim basis, what do you have to lose, right? Fourth, There should not be a fourth and less than six that you don't go for. What do you have to lose? Let your guy go out there and make some plays. You referenced Cam Newton earlier. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of Panthers fans would take Bryce Young being a game manager all day long. That's what I'm saying. At this point in the season. At, at the beginning of the year, to use Cam's terms, right, the, the game manager or, yeah, game manager is not the same as a game changer. At the beginning of the year, we want to see a game changer. I think right now people would be doing 
uh, throwing parades in the streets. They'd be dancing if he was a game manager at this point. So just manage the game. And then the, the last piece of advice, and this this advice was um, – it wasn't given to me, but I was in the room, right? Uh, in college, a, a quarterback – I won't. I won't name names, even though I doubt any of them are listening. Uh, but a quarterback, we were watching a, a scrimmage, like a practice scrimmage on on film, and the guy, th- the quarterback, threw a pass that was catchable. Right, we'll call it catchable, and the receiver didn't make the play. Okay, and and the coach, we, we used to get pluses and minuses and grades on everything we didn't practice, and the coach gave him a minus for execution. And and as the coach encouraged us to do, he tried to defend himself. He said, ah, that was a good ball. He dropped it. And and coach goes, No, 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 no. You shouldn't have to to lobby for a drop. He's like, if you want to if you want everyone to give you credit and say, Oh, that wasn't the quarterback's fault, bounce it off his face mask. Right? If you pop it off somebody's face mask and they don't make the catch, nobody's gonna blame the quarterback. Bryce Young. Bounce it off their face mask. The equivalent of, right? Uh, the the You put a ball in the air. The DJ Chark drop slash not catch, right? Uh, last week, you put a ball in the air, 50-50 ball to DJ Chark. He didn't make the catch. It would have been a tough catch. I'm not blaming DJ Chark for that. It, it, it He could have helped you. He could have made the catch, but he didn't. Put it perfect, right? Bounce it off his face mask. Bounce it off his chest. If it's a deep ball, put it one yard in front of him so arms extended, they can run into it. Like like Bryce can get better at dealing with a bad team, and it can become more obvious that he's good playing on a bad team. And that that's regardless of what everyone else is doing around him. There's there's this this worry, uh, and it was one of, uh, I believe, Dennis's concerns yesterday during cons and cons, confidence and concerns, talking about the Panthers, about everybody's buy-in or everybody's individualism or selfishness. Bryce can be a little selfish. Like, I'm allowing him. I'm encouraging that, right? Go out and make yourself look good. Uh, Chris Tabor, the interim head coach, talked to the media earlier this week. He was asked if it feels like guys are just trying to collect a paycheck at this point, which is one of those things that that could derail a season. Here's Chris Tabor. I know what the final score was, but I think that you could also say that the final score wasn't indicative of how the game was played. And uh, what, we're, what are we in the fourth quarter there? And we missed a, we missed a field goal. What would that put us down by? I can't remember five maybe or whatever. Yeah, yeah, down by down by five. You're you're still in it. You've gotten the game to the fourth quarter with an opportunity to win it, even as things weren't going your way. So that says a lot about the guys. But to be honest with you, I ex- I expect them to play well. You, you got to be a pro, and that's it's hard right now. But it's in another way, it's not because that's your job. Yeah, if, if anyone's given up, you got problems. But at the same time. Somebody else gives up. You like to me. You throw them off the bus and keep going with the ones that do. Yeah. If somebody, if you get the sense anyone is giving up or anyone is just there collecting a paycheck, if I'm Chris Tabor, I'm going. Listen, I'm I'm the interim coach for another handful of games here. I don't have to worry about upsetting stars. If you, if you're not locked in, you're gone. Uh, because I want people out there with Bryce that are going to play well. And Chris Tabor has to make those tough decisions and has to go through scenarios like that because just like Bryce Young, he's being evaluated. Well, I, I think it's actually easier for him. It's easier for Chris Tabor than it would be for someone that is more likely to be around next year. I don't think Chris Tabor is going to be the head coach next year. I don't think he's in consideration. If Steve Wilkes couldn't get from interim head coach to, to permanent head coach, I don't think Tabor has a chance. Fair. So so if, if I'm Chris Tabor, I'm going, listen, oh, you got a long-term contract? Oh, are, are you definitely around Miles Sanders or, or anyone, whoever has uh, you know guaranteed money next year? That doesn't matter to me because I'm not guaranteed next year. All of this, the entire game this weekend, the entire – just show me improvement from your quarterback. Improvement from your quarterback. I don't care how small. I don't care how minuscule. I don't ha- care how incremental it is. Improvement. Move in the right direction.